Welcome back. So now we're going to take a look at color correcting an image in Adobe Camera Raw. I showed you previously how to adjust the setting to make an image appear less green or less blue. However, um, it is often very necessary to adjust an image that was taken perhaps under a variety of different light sources or where the sun was too bright or during a sunset where it is very orange, whatever the case may be. So we're going to go to the Twins folder here in Adobe Bridge. And here are some images that were taken in the studio of these cute little fellas. And we had some overhead lights on that gave us some color cast. So let's open one of these. At first glance, they appear pretty good. They are a little bit too blue, however. A couple of different ways that you can go in and adjust your white balance. One is under white balance, you can go through and you can select different options from the drop down menu. You can see what the changes are that these drop down options give you. A lot of times though, if you have a lot of different light sources going on, you will get a variety of different things in your color. So I'm going to go up here and up in our toolbar in the upper left hand corner, you'll see there's a white balance tool. I am going to select that and then I am going to use that eyedropper and I am going to click on something that should be pure black. Now, one thing that is usually pure black and everybody has one is the pupil. So I am going to just click on the pupil and you will see how it automatically adjusts the color for us. I'm going to undo that. That's before and that's after. Now, you might say that was not what I was expecting. You can always go in and adjust your settings just a little bit to give yourself the true color that you're looking for. Okay? Now, this image also needs a little bit of pop. So when I bump my exposure, my contrast, bring down my shadows, bring up my highlights, bring down my blacks, and add a short bump in clarity, we can see a marked difference. Now, if I want to compare my images, the before and the after, I can come down here in the lower right hand corner and I can select this before and after view and it will show me my before and my after. And that helps me to see the changes I've made and if I'm where I would like to be. Okay, I'll click done. And it brings me back to Photoshop. I can select bridge and the changes take effect automatically. I don't have to click save. We see the changes in bridge. Next, we're going to begin retouching images using Adobe Photoshop. 